pretty well explained. Just a tad under the 65. And time for the pre-race nutrition. And it's a beautiful sunny day. Very windy outside. And the level of nerves are high because it's three hours tour of fire and ice, including the ascent of Alpe de Zwift. First. Easy to digest carbohydrates, amino acids, obviously water, and caffeine. Carbohydrates have been ingested with plenty of water, and the level of excitement is extraordinarily high this morning, because in today's race, there's no less than eight pros from the UCI World Tour, including Mark Sola from Movistar, and George Bennett, from Jumbo Visma, plus six others and a whole bunch of continental pros and one Olympic athlete. I'm gonna get destroyed, but I'm gonna really enjoy myself getting destroyed and that's the beauty of Zwift. It enables enthusiastic amateurs like myself to race each other, but also now we get to try a hand against the pros. For them, it's probably just a training ride, but for me personally, it's a really big, exciting event and something I'm super grateful for. Anyway. Onwards. Exercise is going on upstairs as well. Time to set the bike up. Hail. Post race, protein, blueberries, armor milk, repair muscle damage, vitamin C to calm the body down. And the numbers. Average power over 66 minutes was 295 watts, so that's a personal best for me, 4.5 watts a kilogram. Normalized was 299 watts. I think I placed in the 40s, but beyond happy with all of that. A personal best. Up out the Zwift, it was 44 minutes and 19 seconds, obviously helped by the draft. And overall, a really uplifting morning. Very grateful to everybody in the live chat. Really encouraged me and spurred me on um, for my best ever kind of racing performance. It was a privilege to race with the pros. And I'm very grateful to be able to race on a platform like Zwift, because as I say, I'm acutely aware of the fact that so many people out there are working really hard on our behalf in order to allow the rest of us to stay indoors and do a tiny little bit to stop the spread of this virus. Thank you all very much. The Marks and Spencer's pancakes, the blueberry ones, are the business. Low fat, nice carbs post a race or a training session. And with honey, perfect. Yoga is occurring, plus emails. And now for a bit of pre-race nutrition. But first, another magnificent day. So on the date this morning is an Ed Laverack training that basically sees just four 30 second sprints but he's aiming to have me at 580 watts or more for each of those 30 second sprints in order to maximize my time in a power zone that's really not one of my strongest ones, let's be honest here. But I'm gonna do my best to spoil his wonderful training program because I'm gonna do a couple of those sprints and then I've got a couple of very short crit races on Zwift on the deck where I intend to deploy one of those sprints in each of those races. Time now for the usual amino acids and cold coffee. I'm going to do this one fasted because it's early in the morning. The joys of working from home. Straight off the live stream, 
jumper on, no shower. Look, still got the heart rate monitor on and everything like that. Colleagues and client doesn't know how horribly sweaty I am, plus heart rate's at 180. Oh, probably about 130 now. Anyway, onwards. Another nice little sunset. Hashtag the simple pleasures. My predictability knows literally no bounds. So here's my tea from tonight, my workday tea. And it's pretty much the same workday tea that I have every night for the last few months. Love it. Sensational. Well, on the date this morning, Ed Lavrats got me doing something called race attacks. As a result, I thought it very much appropriate to deploy the colours of Lotte Sedal and Mr. Thomas de Gend. But first, time to ingest amino acids and cold coffee. 1920 on the clock. Okay, five seconds from the start of the second of Ed's race attack. 30 seconds at 400 watts. Into five minutes at 300, into 30 seconds at 400. Two more of these to go.
I've been doing zone four to get to the summit. Tasty. Ed, I hope you approve of that. 30 seconds recovery into zone four. Clearing the lactic acid while working hard. That's from your textbook, I believe. Stage one. Of recovery, ultimate greens. And people have asked, do they taste awful? No, there's a little bit of mint in there, and actually, very, very pleasant. It's like minted peas. In shock horror development, the vanilla protein shake has been replaced with Belgian chocolate. Is Belgian chocolate and blueberries acceptable? We'll find out. It's a bit gloopy because they didn't put quite enough almond milk in, but let's see. I say gloopy, there you go. It's more like a mousse. Not very elegant. Tastes all right though, tastes all right. And with spoon. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Hmm. I prefer vanilla. You know who you are. Thank you very much. <laughs>